108 Arizonans lost their lives today from COVID-19, a death toll we haven't seen in our state since February. But during this surge, most of the victims are under 50. Fox 10's Irene Snyder is live with the details. Irene. Well, Brian, good evening. Health experts that we spoke to earlier today say that vaccination rates the last couple of months were pretty high with the news with news of the Delta variant spreading very rapidly across the country. Now here in September at this point, they say vaccination rates have gone pretty far down, but hospitalization rates are still very high. COVID-19 infection rates are high. Vaccination rates at the moment are pretty low. Executive Director of the Arizona Public Health Association, Will Humble, says these stats are concerning. He explains that cases among children are thankfully declining, but the adult hospitalizations are fairly steady. Hospitals already, um, you know, struggling to meet the level of care for the number of patients that they have, and it's because of unvaccinated adult patients, basically. Right now, Arizona is averaging 10,000 vaccinations per day. That's statewide data. While earlier this year, Arizona averaged 10,000 vaccinations per day at each vaccination site. Over the last week, we see more people becoming infected with the virus than are getting vaccinated. Let's, that kind of puts it in perspective. Humble says while there are treatment options available for those who become hospitalized with COVID-19, like monoclonal antibodies, that form of treatment is not ideal. It's not a terrific clinical treatment to begin with. It needs to be given early on. The clinical guidelines are only for people with high-risk medical conditions, and it costs thousands of dollars rather than the vaccine, which costs about 15. Moving forward, he says the vaccine is the most effective option, but we still have a long way to go. At this rate, it's just going to take a lot longer than it needs to for us to put this pandemic behind us. And at this point, 57% of Arizonans are vaccinated. Reporting live in Phoenix tonight, I'm Irene Snyder for Fox 10 News.